All right, so let's go to Walmart for our weekly walkthrough. And they have enough trailers here parked to the back. Um, do they have more? Yeah, they got more over this way to the back there. And then they have just a few more, not that many. We saw much crowded than this before. These things were $4.99 last year. They're now $6 and them cans got smaller. Still gaps with the medications. Um, they did take off some of the plastic from off of the vitamins and things. Just some. I don't see the purpose of just leaving some of the plastic though versus taking it all. It's not even no security up here. They have these on clearance for eleven dollars. Original price is thirty five eighty eight, and they have a few of them here. Not bad. It's the little form one seats, infant support, activity set. They also have the frozen booster seat attachment, um, right next to this for only nine dollars, guys. Eden seat and a booster seat. That's not bad. They also got the Hallow Bassinet for $74 on clearance. The original price is $190. So if you are looking to make a few extra dollars, um, one great tip is to visit these clearance sections. And if you see something that's worth buying, you compare the prices on like Facebook um, and a lot of them other um, sites where they sell items. You compare the prices and you go and list these items that you're finding on clearance. Because if you're buying something for $74 and that item is worth almost $200, you can post it for maybe $10 less than the original price. And guess what? You will still come out with a profit because somebody will buy that item that's $10 less versus buying that item that's ten dollars more so you can visit these clearance items if you know the this clearance sections if you have the extra money to kind of resell some of these items online and believe it or not a lot of people actually do this so if you're interested there's an idea you can take it and run with it with christmas coming around i just want to see how the toy area looks there I am over here. Um, I think more people are ordering online. I'm seeing a lot of sales online. I think Walmart and Target had like 50% off of toys. Um, or are people like really not buying as many toys? I know I'm not really into buying toys anymore, but you know, I still look. I try to avoid these owls when I have the kids with me because they tend to want everything that they possibly already have <laughs> and it's crazy it's a little bit of gaps with certain items let's just see how like the doll babies and stuff look this doesn't look pretty full at all actually the toy section has been low for about a good year now anyhow now looking at like the baby dolls and stuff like that you already see like Putting your fronts in with those items. Um, not a lot of toys to really pick from. I think you just got that better chance of shopping online for toys. The dog food also, this is the dry dog food. Now that's, boy put that down. That That's kind of low again as well. You starting to see the gaps with the pet food <laughs> again. Same thing here, straight ahead. I actually need cat litter while I'm here. The wet dog food. Mm. Yeah, so that, that's pretty low. You gotta take the top off and it automatically feeds through every time it get low. Um, Yes, so that's low. Can you scan that? I don't have an app on my phone. So if you guys have animals, you know, definitely stock up on that animal food as well. Like I said, I came for cat litter. I'm getting these bags here until I get back to BJ's. These are like a dollar and change. The only thing, a dollar fifty-six. The only thing I don't like about this cat litter is it doesn't clump as well. Um, but until I get to BJ's, I'll be getting that. These actually used to be like four ninety-eight, five dollars and change. They're now 
How much is this one? Special kitty right here, seven forty-eight. Even gap with the butter this week at least. Um, let me know what is your favorite butter to suck up on. Y'all remember when these sticks was under a dollar? Now they're a dollar forty-four. Mm. So the eighteen count eggs is five thirty-two here. Um, the big case over there is like still seventeen dollars. Uh, seventeen eighty, seventeen forty-six, and they have a bunch of them in stock this week. Last week they didn't have much. Yes, you do. Don't get nothing with that lunch meat. There are certain gaps on the shredded cheeses, but it is still technically holiday season, November through New Year's. Um, so this is to be expected. There are small bags. It's now two twenty-two though. Mm. Plenty of gaps with the lunch meat section, though. There has been a huge, huge um, warning put out on the lunch meat containing certain bacteria that's one dead 13 hospitalized and nationwide listeria outbreak linked to deli meat and cheese um so just make sure you know stay clear this was actually published on november 10th it says one person has died and the person had a pregnancy loss from the stereo outbreak that has gotten over a dozen people sick across the country with no definitive source determined other than it being linked to deli meat and cheese health officials said cause the people to sick and even die so be careful with this lunch meat going down the laundry aisle and the bleach this week actually looks low oh my god the great value bleach is four dollars and fifty two cents sheesh so they actually restocked on the water today so which is great we got them just in time um i wonder how much is the case now i think it's like 368 i'm gonna scan it and find out they don't have the Pepsi Zero I was looking for in the liters. They do have these, but I don't like buying these because then my, my son, he goes through them. So I bought a liter to keep it more so controlled. I was really happy to see that they actually have water today, though. The convenience of these little juice pouches, they went up in price. I think I bought this once in the past year, maybe one box. But... I no longer buy them no more because they went up in price too much for me. Then when you talk about ketchup, the ketchup have fallen low on the shelves again. So having the mayonnaise and the rice just isn't getting any better at all. Here's the Goya frozen section. They are actually pretty low as well. Yeah. Not a lot with the produce again today. Very, very, very low. Um, same thing there with the celery, for instance, carrots. They do have carrots. Let's check in on his lettuce, actually, with this whole lettuce shortage. Oh, there's no lettuce? Oh, we can't check in on the lettuce because there ain't no lettuce today. All right, to wrap things up, these little gift boxes for $9.98 is not bad for last minute gifts. They do have different prices, you guys. As winter approaches, the feminine hygiene products are starting to look short again. I'm starting to see the oil you fall short on the shelves again. So definitely, guys, look out for that in your stores as well. The vinegar did come back, but now we're starting to see gaps, especially with the red vinegar, which is the apple cider vinegar. The canned milk seemed like it never recovered since Thanksgiving, actually. And the, sh the sugar is starting to be gaps in the sugar, noticeable gaps with the sugar. Before, it was more sugar than flour. Now, I believe that it's more flour than sugar. Salt and seasonings continue to disappear. Canned meat continue to rise in price and also disappear. Well, when I say disappear, I don't mean disappear. It's thinning on the shelves. 78 cents for the great value canned tuna is still not bad. So if you're looking to add some type of canned meat to your stockpile and you starting off 
um try to check out walmart for their great value canned tuna fish not bad at all but honestly guys this tuna fish section is looking better than it has been looking in the past year that's the tuna fish the mackerel the canned salmon like i said all of this is looking better than it has been looking the canned chicken though it did rise in price as fast as it is put on the shelves it still goes um because it's now 9.98 for the four pack and for the two pack it's now 5.88 but still even with that major price increase it goes fast they did have the pillsbury cake mixes for one dollar the honey and peanut butter is still looking low chili is always a great option to go on and add to your stockpile not bad but when, i want to ask you all a question now when it comes down to canned meat do you guys notice a difference at least with the canned meat if you buy the off brand versus the name brand is there really a difference in taste um, we don't do canned meat as often, though I stock up on it because if it come down to it, at least I will have it. But for those of you who do often use canned meat, is there a difference in taste with, with the off-brand versus the name brand? I really would like to know. Maybe I'll go ahead and I go on my stockpile, I get the name brand, and then I get the off-brand and actually see. But until then, let us know in the comments down below. Um yeah so this is pretty much it these are the pictures that i took during my walkthrough let's see what happens with walmart in the future let's see if they will actually close more and more stores because you guys know that they're saying the theft is causing them to have a major loss we'll see what happens with that um so this walmart here do usually have a lot of gaps just because like i said it is a high populated kind of area um but back before the pandemic started honestly we have not seen this many gaps i've never seen gaps like how i'm seeing in today's world and i'm sure you know some of you can relate as well this is why it's important for you to go ahead and keep stocking up i keep saying you know little by little by little but this little by little is actually going to start to add up Little by little is going to start to, you know, seem like a full grocery bill with the prices and all. Um, but do what you can, you know, do what you can and what's affordable for you. Just don't go break the bank stocking up unless it came down to it. And we got that real, you know, crazy warning, which I doubt we'll get, you know, that, hey, this is the last shipment of this, that or the third. Um, then go break the bank and go ahead and get everything <laughs> that you can but it's better to get everything now because we try to reduce panic buying you don't want to be out there panic buying or with the panic buy yours but that's the purpose of buying little by little it saves you the time the frustration the money and the panic buying so I am checking out. Thank you all for coming along with me to Walmart for my weekly walkthrough. Hope you all enjoyed. Keep on stocking. Keep on stacking. Keep on prepping. You guys, it's really important. It is really important. Make sure you all also, it's time to say it, stay prepped, stay blessed, and stay safe. If you like this video, please go ahead and join us by subscribing to the channel. Press the notification bell so you do know when I upload. Don't forget to like the video. And if you want to share it out to your friends and family, you can do that as well. Thank you all for the support. This is Shauna and I'm checking out from Moments With Us. Peace.